Joining us for 22 News at Noon, I'm Rich Tatamer. A home was destroyed in a fire in Hoyoke over the weekend, and now we know that two fire hydrants in the area weren't working properly. 22 News reporter Taylor Knight's live in the studio after speaking with the homeowner who was frustrated after losing everything. That's right, and this fire started at the home on Fairfield Avenue on Saturday evening. Holyoke Fire Captain Kevin Kavanagh told 22 News that the two closest fire hydrants to the house had low volume. This made them useless and forced the fire department to stretch hoses at 1,500 feet to other hydrants that were working better. The house collapsed, but six people were able to get out safely. Homeowner Roger Lagavin told 22 News there have been water pressure issues on his street for years, and he felt helpless when there was no water available. I could see the frustration on the fire, the fire department people. Uh, one guy's up the street, uh, he's standing by the hydrant, and he's waving, you know, no water, no water. And he went down here, no water. You know, the fire department did their job, did what they needed to do and what they're supposed to do. But the city of Hoyoke has a lot to answer for with that. Captain Kavanagh told 22 News Holyoke Waterworks is in charge of maintaining and flushing the hydrants. 22 News reached out to the utility multiple times to get more information, but we have not yet heard back. On 22 News starting at 5, we will hear much more from the homeowner about the problematic fire hydrants. Taylor Knight, 22 News.